In the aftermath of Hurricane Helene, it's easy to forget that today marks the ninth anniversary of the 1000 year flood. Despite being nine years apart, both disasters share the same devastation and the same swift response from the South Carolina Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team, also called SC Heart. It's a partnership between the South Carolina National Guard and SC State Fire. I spoke with three servicemen at McIntyre National Guard Base who took part in the helicopter rescues in October of 2015. And little did I know just days after our interview about the 1000 year flood, they would be back in action, helping those impacted by Helene. Ripping video of one of the many rescues that happened on October 4, 2015. It was something I certainly will never forget. While people were trying to escape the rising water, the SC Heart team was heading right into it. It was a, a sight that we'd never seen before. And people, uh, you know, you, you think about it, you imagine seeing people in desperation, and we were seeing it firsthand. They really needed some assistance. The odds were stacked against them. Because of floodwaters, less than 20% of the company could actually make it to McIntyre. Looking back, that of all the people that could have showed up that actually were able to make it first, we had a crew. You know, we had what we needed to get started. And with one helicopter, in one day, they did more than two dozen rescues. What kept driving you to push through and continue those rescues? So, everybody has stayed up late at night. Everybody has felt exhausted. But when that friend comes over, knocks on your door, needs some help, and you wake up, you're invigorated, that's exactly how we felt because we were providing a service for the citizens that we live with and work with and talk with and go to church with. Um, all of that was enough motivation to just keep going. Um, we weren't overseas doing a mission based on objectives and national security um, motivations. This was South Carolina, and so we had to do what we had to do. And with precision and calm, they were able to bring so many to safety, thanks to their intense level of training. Training is the hardest part, and, and it, make, it makes the hurricane easier or any time we go out to pick somebody up. According to SC Hart, the training and performance standards for this team are stricter than anything the military or fire service requires. Do you consider yourself heroes? Oh, no, 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 not at all. So the team itself comprises of so many pilots, so many crew chiefs, so many firefighters. Uh, any one of them would have been there and done what we did that day, could have done what we did that day. We happened to get to McIntyre first that day. We're basically the long snapper on the football team. We're supposed to be able to do that. Um, we're supposed to get that ball back to the punter. What we operate on is the fear of not being able to do that. So there's nothing extraordinary about what we did. That's what we're supposed to do. There's certainly a lot that can go wrong if we don't do what we're required to do. And with that motivation, coupled with their deep ties to the local community, and pride in their service to South Carolina helped fuel them to work tirelessly. A lot of us have been all over the world doing everything and uh, for other countries, other people, but whenever you're, like Sean said, whenever you're here at home rescuing your own people, it makes it a little bit different. The October 2015 flood, while etched in their memories, underscores the vital role of SC Heart and their readiness to respond anytime and anywhere they are needed. And for full transparency, I had also planned to include an interview with the South Carolina State Firefighters Association since they play a vital role in SC Heart. However, their priority right now, as it should be, is rescuing people and helping communities across the Carolinas recover from Hurricane Helene. With that said, I want to highlight that SC Heart's success is built on the strong relationships between all the agencies involved. As one leader at McIntyre told me, SC Heart is a family. For News 19, I'm Whitney Sullivan.